What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashana with LE Style. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, of course, where I believe that beauty is first and inside job and mindset is queen. Um, if this is your first time here, I am Lashana, a 53-year-old content creator. I love all things beauty. Of course, that includes wigs, hair, makeup. Uh, I do produce or publish some lifestyle videos. Everything is sprinkled on in with my faith. Um, you are here, of course, to uh, see this new wig that I have on that. It is a braided wig. Another one. I have been on a braided wig kick, but I've been contacted, um, about featuring them or reviewing them rather. And I'm just all about it because I've had great experience with the braided wigs that I have received in the past. And I was super, super excited about um, receiving this one because this one um, has a little color to it. It's a little blended color. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to it. It is an Amadon, Amadon, not Amadon. It's an Amazon seller. And um, the company is called Kalis or Callis, K-A-L-Y-S-S. This is a 36 inch crisscross knotless box braided wig. Um, it is, it has, I was trying to see if it said anything about HD. It doesn't say anything about HD, but it does have baby hairs of course. But this is the unit. This is the unit and the color that I've received, it just says brown here. But I would say it's more of a, um, you know how you have 1B30 and 1B, you know, 27. This is like a 1B30. So if you're familiar with the 30, it has like an auburn uh, color. Of course, the construction is nice. And this is one of the reasons why this one is a little bit different. You could see the crisscross pattern. Um, that is on this one. I have not received this type of one, this type of braided unit before. Um, it is double laced. <laughs> As I've stated before, um, with the other two or three double lace wig um, units that I have reviewed, and excuse my ring going off, let me go ahead and um, take care of that right now so we don't have to keep listening to that. Um, I do not like it because of the line right there, if you could see it. I am going to go ahead and remove the underside of this lace as I have done in the past because the line just has to go. I don't understand why they have that there, but they do and you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna complain about it. I already know what to do about it and that's what I'm going to do, but it does not take away from the quality of the look of the wig. Um, again, this is 36, un uh, 36 units, 36 inches. I am gonna use my, um, my tinted lace spray today on the underside after I remove the, the second part of the lace because that is this part right here, so we can deal with that line right there. So this piece of lace is coming out. I will show you what I'm doing to, to do that. Um, of course, this does have a band, um, an elastic band. It still has the adjustable straps in the back, a comb in the back, and of course, you have combs right here on each side of the unit. So this one appears to be constructed very similarly to the ones that I've had in the past. We're gonna go ahead and get through this together. I would ask that you would stick around with me until the end, of course, so you can see the final look and of course, get my final thoughts. I appreciate you guys tuning in today and I will see you at the end, y'all.
final look and of course my final thoughts let me adjust my camera just a little bit um <laughs> you saw everything I did obviously I did have to cut off cut that underside of lace which was the double layered lace so it was the under piece um I showed you all of that this time I did decide to use my uh, tinted lace spray on the lace that remained um I don't know if I feel like, I, I believe with this particular wig, the, the lace spray just made it a little bit darker than what I would have liked it, it to have been. So I did go back over with my black opal concealer in between the parts, which brightened it up. I kind of think I like that method better for the, the wig, um, the lace wigs, mm, the lace braided wigs than um, using the tinted lace spray so that was the first time I think that I did that but anyway um, obviously I use my free spray um, because I just needed to you know this is a braided wig and it's a little bit uh, heavier up front so I want to make sure that it stays in place it stays intact and then of course I cut my baby hair some I cut them a lot I wasn't really trying to have a whole bunch uh, again, I say this every time, y'all know I'm not a big fan of baby hairs, but I do believe that they are needed on some wigs and braided wigs is one of those type of wigs. I put my uh, melt band on probably for about five minutes. That's about it. And that's it. This is the result. I do love the color. Um, it does fit my head for the most part. 
um the only thing that i don't really like is like right here you could tell it's kind of gathered a little bit and i'll get up close in a second so you could see that and then of course i'm gonna do a 360 um and that's from me like i said just trying to move it and stretch it to fit my big head it's just what it is and i do have this issue from time to time so but you can see what we're looking like i don't believe that this looks bad you can see where i brighten it um up with the concealer you can see my baby hairs uh the hairline i mean i'm not gonna say it's completely undetectable but it's not like you got a braided wig on you know what i'm saying it doesn't look horrible to me i would definitely wear this out confidently i mean if I'm going to step out there and put a wig on my head, obviously the wig that I have on my head, I'm going to wear it confidently. Ain't no other way for me to wear the daggone wig, but um, I do like it. I love, love, love the color. I love the design in here. It's like that crisscross uh, design. It's still a box braid wig, but it just has a little different design. I do like the difference in just having the regular box braids that I had it the last time. But let me go ahead and do a 360. And another thing that I do like about this wig, I'm going to stand up. Obviously, it's very, very long. It's 36 inches, and I'll move and show you the back in a minute. Is that it's way flatter in the back. It's not as bulky. So this is the back. Um, all of these wigs that I have been reviewing have been 30 to 36 inches and this one is 36 inches so you can see how long it is and obviously this is the, the right side so with this particular braid pattern um, I would say you are limited to the different styles. I mean, you can do what you want to do because on the uh, online, they do have like the models. Um, and this is, I'm just kind of looking at it right quick where they have a, a bun on top and I'll flash it on the screen. I'll make sure I take a snapshot of this and flash it on the screen. But none of those are really like that's not not for this because these come way back here and i don't know how i would feel about that on top i mean you may like it it doesn't look bad you just gotta gather the braids you know you could do that it's not bad it's kind of cute half up half down um you know or for the most part i'll be wearing mine down um, so I'll be wearing it, you know, pretty much like this. And of course, to leave the rest hanging in the back. Obviously, it's very easy to take this and put it in a ponytail. Um, with just a ponytail. Lord have mercy, my watch is talking. Shut up, girl. Um, you can wear it in a ponytail. And, um, you know... I wouldn't be doing a whole lot with it other than wearing it down or wearing it back. I, you know what I really like about this compared to the other ones is that because these braids are already going back, then none of them are really falling in my face. Not that the other ones were a problem, but that's one of the benefits of this wig if you do decide to go with it. I forgot to tell y'all, they did have to come in the package. I just showed you the wig. But this also came in the package. Of course, you got a couple of wig caps, the hair jewelry, and some <laughs> and some lashes um, that are in here. But, uh, of course, I didn't use any of that. I don't even believe I'm not even going to put any of the hair jewelry on this particular one because it has this braided design up here. So, I'm not really, you know, I got my, my regular jewelry on. I, I did switch to my big hoops. I don't know if you noticed, I had on little hoops. I'm a hoops girl, completely, totally. And this um, style, of course, I believe could rock or needed some bigger earrings. So I did grab these. But overall, I like how this looks on me. It's very comfortable. It's not heavy. Brown, I'll leave um, all the information for you below. This is an Amazon seller. 
Um, right now, the wig is listed for $129.99. Um, they did have a $20 off, but I don't see that at this time. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. I am digging this. I'm digging this on me. I'm loving the, the two-tone color. It's a little bit different. All the other ones that I've had, they've all just been like a 1B. So I was very, very interested in reviewing this particular one because they offered some color on this particular unit. So I'm excited about that. Thank would you um, could you wear it would you buy it would you try it what do you think about the crisscross design this time yeah, um say i you know. definitely appreciate those of you who stayed with me to the end i thank god for you the new people that are here joining me i would like to ask that you would consider subscribing to my channel of course will you continue to get content like this and a little bit more you know we're doing some different things uh, amazon, um, amazon hauls are coming up uh, another one is coming up soon, of course, and then I have some life application videos and of course you'll continue to get the wigs and uh, the makeup videos as well. So please subscribe, Sweet, please hit the notification bell so you can be alerted of any new uh, videos that I have coming to the tube. You will be the first to know. Please share the content and of course I ask that you would consider following me on social. With that, I want to say thank you so much. Um, I love you guys. My prayer for you, of course, is that you will continue to stay safe and be blessed that this will be 2023 will be the year that you uncover and discover the purpose and which god created you you know why are you here a lot of people have that question well god almighty your creator knows why he created you so i pray that you would seek him and you will find him if you will search for him with all of your heart he will reveal and um uncover that for you uh, so you can live a life of, of true peace, contentment, joy, and fulfillment. Trust me, I know there is a huge difference. It takes a lot of pressure off of you and a lot of stress and strain and struggle um, from off of your mind when you know that you are walking on the path of purpose and walking in your assignment. So just the same. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And until the next time, be blessed. Bye.